Have you ever wondered how to run flows in system context without sharing? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you just how to do that. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out new Salesforce content each week. And let's jump into this video. So you may be wondering why in the world would I want to run a flow in system context and not enforce sharing rules? Well, the answer is really quite simple. Whenever you don't specify a context to run your flows in under the advanced settings in Flow Builder, the flow runs and enforces the permissions and sharing of the user that launches the flow. So if a system admin launches the flow, of course, that we're going to have access to all the data in Salesforce. Now, if someone with a maybe a read only profile or limited access profile on a lower level, if you're using you know, hierarchy, then they may not have access to all the fields on an object. So when the flow launches and tries to you know, maybe update a record, save a record, or change something on that object, you could run into error messages where that user can't change a field. Um, the reason I thought of doing this video is this actually happened in real life recently for me. Uh, we had a user that was in a certain profile that didn't have access to a date field in a screen flow. So for almost all users, it was working successfully except for these users in this certain profile. Whenever the screen flow would execute, they would hit save and the flow would try to update that date field and it would fail and give an error message stating it doesn't, they don't have access to that field. So to fix this issue, I went in and actually changed the context that the flow runs in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so what we're looking at here is this is just a flow I created in a previous video called the assigned to me flow. And if you look up here in the top left, you're going to see the gear icon and you're going to click this. And then this is kind of where you can edit your properties, right? Your flow label, and you can change your description. But if you look under it, show advanced, this is the advanced properties of your flow. And right here is how to run the flow. And they even have a little helpful thing here. So it says by default, how the flow is launched determines whether the flow runs in the context of the user or the system. If you choose system context with sharing, the flow respects org wide default settings, role hierarchy, sharing rules, manual sharing, teams, and territories. But it doesn't respect object permissions, field level access, or other permissions of the running user. If you choose system context without sharing, the flow accesses all data. And when you hit the drop down right here, you can see the three choices you have. And the option um, that I decided to go with was the system context without sharing access all data. The advantage of doing this is the user profiles, if they are limited to certain fields, if they're not able to change a field on the page layout, you could select the system context without sharing access all data. And you could actually have a button that launches and they are able to set that date field, even if the flow automatically sets it for them. This could be great if you have users that are maybe in customer service um, they're doing reach outs. They want to, you have like complete reach out button on there. And when they click the button, they fill out some information and they have a close date that automatically populates when they change the status to completed. The user won't be able to go change that field on the object if it's read only, but the flow would be able to run and access that date field and update it as that user because it's running in system context without sharing. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And there's some other really cool settings under here. There's source template, original flow. You can change your API version for running the flow, but we're not getting into the other things um, on this edit properties today. Um, they actually are very helpful to look at the uh, little information icons if you want to dig into that more. But to finish confirming your settings, you would just hit done. And then now you can see in the top left, it says runs as systems. That's how you know that it's not going to enforce any sharing or, you know, set uh, print permission settings. It's just going to run it and, you know, as the system with access to all data. But this is something really cool that you can do in your org today. And especially as you build out new flows, so that may be something you're th you should start thinking about, especially if you start messing with profiles that have limited access to fields and whatnot. But if you found this video interesting, make sure to leave it a like so I know to make more videos like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.